Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. What? Fun what? Why? stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. Like the movie The Thing? I'm a writer. Because that's a good movie. Why? 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 Well, you know what? Even though you can't give me the answer to why, I'm still gonna ask why. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. A lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I it's always the lighthouse. The coastal road to get there. Damn, I hope you have some Let's good car you. insurance for that. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. All right, let's hide the dead body. This is like some I know what you did last summer vibes. I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Whoa. He disappeared. Must be one of those OP crackheads that you meet in Hartford, Connecticut, or Bridgeport, Connecticut. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Wow, this is nice. This is so cute. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys, but most importantly... Please subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit that notification button as well, so you know when I upload my videos. That's right, this is... This is the first episode of Alan Wake. Let me see, do I like these? No, I'm not gonna revert them. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Hold L1 to sprint. Listen, that car is beyond repair. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. And all of your copies of your books have also been all over the road, too. That's nice. That's a nice I little to to the prog placement right there. Important waiting for me there. Get to the lighthouse. I got you. That's a nice looking sweater. I bet you got that from Old Navy. It kind of looks like an Old Navy sweater to me. Damn, we have to go all the way over there? That's a long walk. Let me just look over here. So the bridge is out. There's a big, massive hole. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Ooh, a thermos. Collectible? I love collecting stuff. Honestly, I was not expecting to be able to pick that up. I was just being there because I'm nosy. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. Excuse me, can you get out of the car? Wait. Whoa! 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 No! Chill! Stop! No, I'm not even entertaining that. What is his problem? What is his problem? Oh, hell no. I am not... I am not gonna stay around and... I can dodge enemy attacks. Oh, no. Woo! Woo! Oh, I suck at dodging. Can you, can you leave me alone, please? Woo! 
Oh no, this is horrible. Keep, listen, let's let's work this out. Woo! I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Wait, are you dead ass right now? So the person who just hit us is a fictional character out of your own imagination? What kind of a hallucination am I going through? I must have been smoking some really bad weed for those hallucinations to really... To die by the hands of your ah, breaking the fourth wall. I like that. Alright, let's go. Bye. Bye. I'm a runner, I'm a track star. Whew, I, I don't I don't know. This game I'm in it for a good story plot, but this game is slowly scaring me out, man. This is so trippy. Come on, Alan, run! Why are you running so slow? Who's that? Is that another character from my story? I'm trying! I'm pressing down L1 as hard as I can. No. Dude, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh no, he's out! Oh no. Open the door. Wow. Oh. No. Oh. And I'm just watching him too. I was trapped. There was no way out. What what is this? Look at look at the TV. Are you serious? Die, die, die. I bet he's a reaper main. Wow, this game's not even safe from Overwatch. Um, can I leave? I'm trying to leave, but there's no way for me to leave. Whoa. Finally, I can leave. Okay. Follow the light, it said. So that's what I'm doing. I'm following said light. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Go into the safe haven? What? That's so dope. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It okay. Like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? I mean, that's a nice poem, but... Thank you. Right in the face. There you go. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Say less.
Yes, look at that. Self defense course 101. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will what? Back your dream now. Wait, come back. I have questions. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. I forgot. I can't ask why because there's no reason or answer for me to actually get that. How are you going to give me a whole crate of ammo, but have the audacity to give me a limit on how much I can carry said ammo? That's horrible. Shut up. See, and you fell. You're a joke. Come here. Battery? Okay. Alright, let's go. I'm actually pretty good with my aim. This is a lot easier compared to... Woo! So, these batteries... I feel like there's gonna be a limit. Come here. Oh no. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, I'm trapped here. Let's go. Just like oh, come on. Are you kidding me? This is horrible. Come on. Oh man, this sucks. This sucks. I, I don't like this. Come on. Come on. Woo! You thought you had me, haha. -ha. Man, this game's giving me anxiety, I'm not gonna lie. Out of batteries? That means I'm on my own. Oh man, this is not good. No, sorry, not today. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I can keep this up. No, I'm not even entertaining him. Run. Yo, he he is running so slow. And I'm pressing hard on the L on the L button. Look at this game. Oh no, I'm dead. Alright, I'm running again. Let's go. This time, I am not gonna... I can keep this up well, I don't want to keep this forever. I actually want to go home. Get out. Alright, I'm gonna take my time. Woo! Woo! This is too much for me. I don't like this one bit. Come on, Alan. You don't need to be this slow. Come on. Come on. I don't know why this man is so slow. I'm running. I'm running. And yet he has the audacity to run so slow. Why? Why is that? I'll take that. Thank you. Woo! Come on. Come on. Get in. Get in the light. Come on. He better not be coming in, because a lighthouse has light, so... Are we good? Are we safe? Yeah, we're definitely safe, especially since there's so much light in here. No. The light is off! Oh, come on. He's here. Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Are you sure about that? Fine. It doesn't feel fine. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Man, I don't even like this. That was one hell of a nightmare. Fighting for my life.
This is a nice, cute city. Well, small city. Right near the shoreline. I don't know what medication I'm taking, but I need to change that ASAP to stop the nightmares, because that's not cool. I can't believe all that was just a nightmare. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Alan, stop being such a negative Nancy and go enjoy your vacation, jerk. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest? Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Oh, she's taking so many pictures. If you don't mind me saying I'm Pat May, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hi, Pat. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. Thank I you. Hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thank you. I, I appreciate that you respected my boundaries. All right, let me see what the wifey's nice. doing. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. Alright, bye. You, Barry. you know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Oh, that's Barry, so annoying. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. See, now you're not left alone, so don't get jealous, okay? Alan, Anyways. Come on, let's get back to the car. Alright. So I assume this is our car? Nope. Wait a minute, this is our car? Okay. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. Can we also eat too? Cause I love eating at diners. I'll pick you up here in say fifteen minutes. Sure. All right, honey, I love you. Mwah. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I gotta admit, the wifey's cute. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Oh, that's awkward. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest fan. Uh... I'm not time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. I just want the keys, please. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. Damn, you're a hardcore fan. When they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, right. So much for a quiet Try vacation. The coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty oh, here that's no so cute. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I can really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. 
bad circulation. So stand yeah, up and move around. Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. I already did that. Yes. So this is the third thermal I picked out. Are you good? Are you okay? You can hurt yourself in the dark. What did you say? I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to get the key and get out what? as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans listen. always did. This lady is mad sus. Oh, the vibes, bro. I don't like the vibes. Okay. Hello? Mr. Stucky? He's stuck. Didn't. <gasps> oh! Couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. Why are you I'm so? Sure you stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. You're Doesn't mad weird. You what? How you? Insist. You're weird as hell. Why you look like that? First, you scare me by creeping up on me in this dark corner. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. And did you just lose someone? Because you're just... It seems like you're the griefing widow or something. I'm just going to leave. I can't. I am so done. I'm so here... Lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Right. I need to get out of here. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> the Andersons. They're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Right. Right. All right, this guy's good. He's just dozing off. All right, I'm heading out. I got the keys. I'll be uh, heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park cafe. Oh, there's my wife. Thank goodness. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Just like my dream. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! What? We got the wrong set of keys? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Who gave me the keys? This place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. We're going to a demonic place. I'm expecting Ash and some Necromonicon book. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Writer's block, maybe? Wow, look at this cabin! I would love to live in a place like that. So isolated and no one bothering me. Me and the missus would love it. Diver's Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, alright. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. Aww. Alice Wait a minute. The fear of darkness. 
I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Yeah, let me not, like, leave her behind too much. I feel bad. I'm just really excited to be sure in this cabin. Right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Mm. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. Bird Lake Cabin. Okay. Wow, this place is so nice. I wonder what's the property tax in this thing. Ooh, okay. I bet it's so nice inside. I'm go. excited. Let's take a look inside. Come on. Can I not go in? It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? I got sure you, thing. honey. Come no on. worries. Huh. So that's the fireplace. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Yes, yeah, someone's here already. Because look, the back door is open. The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Well, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Oh, now they know. <laughs> Look at him grunting. I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. And now it's the music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. Wow, that's crazy. Now the whole town knows I'm here. And he said, Ugh. Out of frustration. Honestly, that's me too. This thermos. I'm seeing it everywhere. I wonder what happens if I collect all of them. I'm just curious. Oh, let me guess. This is the basement, right? No. This is it? No. How are you going to have locked doors in a house that I'm renting at? Every door should be accessible. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned whoa what Damn. is that what is that that's like a quick hallucination I needed to get the power running in the cabin there had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island whoa what is that okay um a scuba suit of some kind the cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s or even earlier uh, 1970 to be exact. From, you know, the calendar. So I don't see anything in here. And it's pretty annoying because I know the missus is waiting for me. And I don't want to make her wait that long. I feel bad. Can I not go in? Fuse box. Okay. Fuse box. If I was a fuse box, where would I be? Like, maybe outside? Is there not a fuse box outside? I mean, don't get me wrong, this area is pretty nice. Look at this. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. I could see why you haven't wrote anything in two years. The water was clear but dark, very deep. Like, no shit, Alan. Tell me something I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out where this fuse box is. Maybe it is somewhere outside. Hold on. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Thanks, honey. I was just about to... To look outside. So it's right over here. Wait, what's this? Examine? Hello? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Aw, that's so cute. That's so adorable. 
All right. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Let's start this bad boy. Come on. Yes. We did it. Woo. All right, honey. We did it. We finally got light. Fire now. On. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Thank you for watching. This is the Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.